How's it going, everyone? Hope you don't mind a little stroll <laughs> in the snow. Friday morning, we've made it. And, uh, you know, it's been a crazy week. It's been a, a trying week in a lot of ways. I'm not going to lie. And I'll get to more specifics in a second. But I want to get to the good stuff first. And that is the scene around me. One of the reasons why I love snow so much is because it tends to reset life. It's it's like a reset button. You know, the Staples commercials. You know, you had that that was easy button. Well, imagine that button just with reset on it. And I feel like it does just make everything better. Obviously more beautiful. But that's been one thing I've been realizing this week. Is just how significant the word reset is in respect to something as simple as frozen precipitation. Obviously, you see the master hand of God and a lot of people, you know, are seeing that on full display. First time like this since January 2016. It's been five years. Uh, But for me, the significance of safe place and snow coming together, it's paramount. It's why snow chased to Monterey a few weekends ago. One of the things I've been learning in EMDR therapy the past year is how to subdue the parts of your mind that are constantly scanning for danger. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Like, I I don't know the technical terms, but we have that innate sense of looking behind our shoulder, behind our back to see what's coming at us. We preserve the target on our back sometimes without even realizing it because we're wondering, well, crap, what's going to hit the fan next? What's coming after me? And I felt that way this week. I felt the bounty out. I, I felt the target on my back that I've been in pursuit. And some of it is just people doing their job and just, you know, me feeling like the rate of which things are falling on my plate is greater than the rate that my plate is expanding. And I, no matter what line of work you're in, no matter what your responsibilities are, I think we could all relate to that. That feeling of... I'm trying to juggle all these things and I'm struggling to juggle them. Uh, I'm, I'm coming face to face. I'm confronting my limitations and I'm just praying, God, help me to handle more than I'm capable of in my own strength. Help me to rely on you through this. That's the main thing. And sometimes to do that, you need to pause for a couple seconds, a couple minutes, break away and think about your safe spot. Think about your safe place and invite God into that safe place. And yes, you could say God is your safe place, but I think there's also like mentally, uh, (laughs) well, let me put it this way. Remember that scene in Good Will Hunting with Robin Williams and Matt Damon on the bench and they have this glorious heart to heart. It's one of my favorite cinematic moments. And when I feel overwhelmed and I feel like people are out to get me, even when they aren't, and sometimes there are some subtle jabs mixed in that are like legit and they tempt you to gauge a person's authenticity. And it's like, you're, you know, I could read between the lines, okay? I know that there's manipulation going on and I don't appreciate it. Whatever. You just break away, you get with God, and you just allow Him to talk to you on that park bench in front of the, the lake. And it could be a frozen lake with snow all around. You know, you know, my landscapes have snow in them. And I just let God talk to me. And it's why I go on prayer walks. It's why even when I feel like I'm a failure, when I feel like I'm not doing things right, it's like I'm not reaching my ceiling. I mean, who am I to know my own best? You know what I mean? It's like I just want to serve the Lord. I want to serve the people he's put around me. It's not that complicated. And again, people say, do your best. We don't know what our best is. So all the more reason to rely on God (laughs) and to have moments each day uh, to listen to him, allow him to, to speak to you. And maybe it's not an actual spoken word. Just minister to your heart. There's many different ways you can do that. Um, But yeah, don't underestimate the value of safe place and creating that picture, I guess, um, and inviting God in. God is always inviting you, and the invitation is unending. But um, just know that God is waiting for you to (laughs) ask and to knock and to be vulnerable and transparent with him, he's always there for you. And so it's amazing what a little bit of snow can do, I guess, in weeks where you feel like it's 
so much is not going right, and the snow was the one thing that went right. So that's all I got. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Thanks for listening. Catch you on the fries always. Love you. Peace.